That was mantra, that was chanting. Now let's talk about pranayama. And pranayama is a very, very great science. And the, prime, the primal technique given to you is 468. Now that is the, if you can stand apart from the universe, that would be the uh, beat of the entire universe. Um, so you are attuning yourself to the universe around you because that is the beat in which the universe functions, that ratio. So you inhale to the count of four. Perhaps in the beginning you would have to count one, two, three, four in your mind. Uh, but with a bit of practice you stop counting. And, you, know, you automatically sense the time. Hmm? It's like uh, anything else. When I go into meditation and I say to myself, uh, I'm going to meditate for two hours, and I go into meditation, exactly, I might be wrong, but uh, the clock would prove that I'm right. Like uh, most of you might have experimented uh, on time. If you repeat to yourself uh, quite a few times before going to bed that I'm going to wake up at four o'clock, I'm going to wake up at four o'clock, mm, you repeat that a dozen times in your mind, and then you go to sleep, and you will definitely wake up at four o'clock. Hmm? You will. It's a very simple practice. So like that, even in pranayama, then you stop counting and automatically you have the rhythm. Now, uh, to have a calmer mind, the body has to be calm. And it works the other way around as well. And vice versa. So, by doing this rhythmic practice of breathing. There are many, many different uh, kinds of pranayama and some could be very, very dangerous. But this is the primal form and as time goes on and as see people are ready, I will teach them uh, deeper and deeper forms of pranayama. So by getting the body into a certain rhythm, it rids you of a lot of illnesses. It rids you of so many mental turmoils because you are functioning in a rhythm. It's like sitting down and listening to a nice piece of music, a rhythmic piece, a lovely melody, and, and you do feel uplifted. But here, this inbuilt within yourself, you do these pranayamas. You do pranayama 4, 16, 8, uh, before meditation, if you wish. And uh, you can do it after meditation also, because in meditation your met metabolic rate drops and you don't rush out of meditation. You sit quiet for a few minutes and you open your eyes slowly and you come out of it. But um, some people that might have appointments and ask to go out, then they do, mm, say, six rounds of pranayama and brings up the metabolic rate. Hmm? But the whole idea is to create that uh, rhythm within you that could rid you of many of the illnesses that you suffer from, uh, psychosomatic as well as others, and uh, you have a feeling of general well-being. That's important. Good. Um, now, 